Good morning, welcome to the channel. We're back at the bathroom renovation. You'll remember in the previous episode, I grouted all the tile, the four by 12 inch subway tile, as well as siliconed it, made it all waterproof so the homeowners have been using that now. It's all good to go. There are a few smaller things that I have to do today. Oh, you'll also notice that there's two vanities installed, two mirrors, the lights. So everything is pretty much the last leg of getting ready. What I have to do today is do the trim on the window. There's a little bit of patching we have to do, some ceiling touch up, as you can see up there, just from the grouting stages, which was a little messy, so we'll touch all of that painting up hopefully as well, as well as a little bit of sanding. As well as a sliding barn door to replace the main swing door. Hopefully that will be in today's episode. So first things first, I'm probably going to do any patching and filling required so it has a chance to dry. You have to see it, this is one place I have to touch up. It's just mudded, it hasn't been sanded or primed yet. That whole deal. But everything else looks pretty good. So it will be a lot of smaller finicky things that I'll be doing in this episode. Okay. Let's get some spackling out. All right, so I finished prepping this area. I sanded down some of the mud I had to use to fill in some uh, chips from the plaster. When I brought my tile out from this wall and put my trim piece on, there's a bit of a gap, so that's all fixed. I just have to go ahead and prime it now. I taped off that aluminum strip so I don't get any paint on there. It's just a little easier. And I will go around and prime any other spots, specifically on the ceiling um, where I got some black grout on. Obviously shows up quite well on the white ceiling. So We'll deal with that in a second. But we're gonna swing over to the door because I have to take these hinges off for the barn door and they'll require some filling with my all-purpose wood filler. So we'll go ahead and pop those hinges off and fill up the void that's left behind. Grab my wood putty. Wow, it's very fluffy. Push it in. This stuff is sandable, so there's not a huge um, importance on getting it perfectly flush. And again, they're going with a barn door. It's this right here. So we'll crack it open, take a look what we got going on. Here are the rollers. And then here are the rails. This must be the connector piece for the two ends. The other piece. Yeah. So you can see there's like a dovetail connection. 
Let me give the instructions a read and we'll see what we're dealing with here. This picture here kind of tells you the whole scoop. So they have these spacers here that go behind the rail and that bumps it up off the wall so my rollers can sit on. So it will be the spacer to keep it off the wall to allow my roller to freely pass without being interfered with. So in theory it's all uh, it all makes sense. Alright. Grab some tools. First things first, I'm gonna get my laser level, make a nice horizontal level line up there that my track can sit on. I do have a four foot level, but the laser will just make it a little nicer. Now it's just a matter of sticking it onto this metal corner beam. Oh, like that. Let's see here. I just gotta find my height. And then I just move my laser. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lasers uh, bang on that mark. Cool. And then that's to the bottom of my rail. Then I should be able to just to go up here. Whoa. Okay, I've got my rail level with the laser line. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark my holes. Make sure I have the right socket. And we'll try and do it. I'm not gonna fully fasten it. I'll leave it loose so I can pivot that rail until it's truly uh, level. Okay. Oh, it's a spinner, spinner, chicken dinner. Darn, dude. Now I just have to apply the hardware to the door itself, just the rollers. And I'm actually just gonna put the door in place for this. So the roller just sits on there, and we fasten it into the door. All I have to do now is get it up off the floor, because it's resting there right now, so I can close this gap however much I want. I'll probably do, yeah, if I do half an inch gap on top, that's 3 8 of an inch of the gap at the bottom. So we'll go with that. Here's the hardware here, they're actually bolts. I thought they were leg bolts. Like that. Okay, got my holes drilled out. A washer on this side. Put my roller on. Put on my washers and then thread on the nut. And then I'll just do this one as well and then we'll tighten them up. There's an issue with the door itself. It's twisted on the bottom. And like, when I say twisted, I mean really twisted. So it's flaring out like this. To correct it, I have to put opposite pressure. Otherwise it hits the jam every time it closes. So they do have this guide for the bottom of the door, but because it's so much of a twist, I need two of these. 
one to put here and one to put here. We'll hold off on that for now, see if we can find another one of these, because I'm pretty sure we'll need two to make it work. But we can put these stops on the top of the door at least, and uh, do everything except that bottom, and we'll have to see if we can find a second um, glide, guide, glide, guide, guide, glide. And these are just to make sure that the door doesn't fall off the end of the track. And there's the uh, sliding barn door. That's gonna do it for this episode. The bathroom's pretty much done except for the painting. I'll give you a quick look here at the end of the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.